Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well, I think before us we have another Green Budget dedicated to fairness in tough times. It's been built on an open and inclusive process so that all could have their say. It's protecting essential services. It's putting the vulnerable and the poorest first. It's funding almost half of the government's cut to the council tax benefit. And we've paid for that with the 1.96% tax, increase, tax increase we propose. And we welcome Labour's reversing their position from last year. It's clear that Tories are scrabbling now, Mr Mayor, having to try and borrow money to make a freeze work in their amendment, which is clearly nonsensical, particularly when Tory councils around the country, like Chichester, Guildford and True Blue Surrey County, are all choosing to increase their taxes. The tax freeze was and remains a contract. Meanwhile, we're putting over £600,000 into discretionary funds to offset the heartless welfare changes the poorest in our city are facing. We're putting £300,000 into advice services and £100,000 into discretion on business rates to attract and retain the businesses we most want to see in this city. We have faced really tough pressures, Mr Mayor. We have the cost and uncertainties of the business rate changes. As Councillor Littman said, in the first year alone we've had to set aside £7 million to pay out on appeals. Before the spending review of the coalition government, this council had about average per capita funding. Now we have the highest cut per capita across the entire region. On Eric Pickle's favourite measure, spending power, we are actually the second highest cut council in the country. Add to that the local pressures of an ageing population, the need for ever more school places, and essential work such as investing millions on keeping our seafront arches up. You'd think that that would all be sensible and people would support that. And I had a browse yesterday of, of the Conservative Party's website. I know it's unusual, but there we go. And I saw Councillor Anne Norman said, I would have liked to have done a lot more. And had we still been in administration, we would have continued with our value for money programme. Well, that's really quite strange, because if you look in the papers before you, Mr Mayor, you'll see this year, this council is on course to have delivered £10 million in value for money savings, £3 million ahead of target. And in the budget we're about to vote on, we're projecting another £10.8 million in value for money savings. So it looks like that is being delivered, so there's no need. Perhaps what the Conservatives meant to say was, I wish our government wasn't slashing council funding and decimating welfare support for the poorest. Or perhaps that's just too much to hope, Mr Mayor. <laughs> Meanwhile, we very much welcome some of the intentions of the Labour amendments, and we will support some of them. But, let us remember that Tories, Lib Dems and Labour in Westminster all back cuts to local government until 2020. All of them back a benefit cap and all propose cutting the welfare budget well into the next parliament. Labour just won't say where their cuts will fall, the condoms do. We as a party, Mr Mayor, reject austerity. We have a green vision which is about nobody being left behind, where the gap between the richest and the poorest is narrowed. Within the limits of our resources, we have sought to do this in the budget before you. Greens present a true alternative and this budget from the Green Administration once again puts fairness for our city first. All members here have to make a decision tonight in the best interests of our city. I would urge them to do that and vote for the Green Budget. Thank you. Thank you very much. Councillor Jason. Thank you. Well, I didn't expect to be uh, referenced in, in relation to the Oscars, but thank you for those kind comments. Um, in relation to the volu voluntary grants issues that both uh, Councillor Summers and Councillor Simpson referred to, um, all of those were unanimously approved by the cross-party members' working group on that, so I do think it's a bit unfair it's been raised in this way. Um, I just wanted to reiterate the, the oddity of, of a Conservative group proposing an amendment to freeze the tax by borrowing. I, mean, just, I just really beg us belief, and they've made the key target of, of the, um, of the Omni Shambles Chancellor was to reduce the, spend, reduce the borrowing. Well, he failed in that nationally, he's lost his uh, debt rating, and now locally we're seeing borrowing. It's, I really, I was truly flabbergasted by that specific amendment, Mr Mayor, and I thought it was worth um, noting. Um, on the Mobile Library um, Amendment by the, the Labour Group, I just find it astonishing that they're proposing to have a mobile library standing still for more than half the week. 
parked up doing nothing. And I just cannot understand how they believe that is a right way to spend such scarce money because there have been so many emotive, passionate, excellent speeches from the Labour benches explaining how hard hit we are by the cuts. And then to have to buy this thing and have it sitting still for more than half the week is extraordinary. But even more, this amendment would kill dead the home delivery service. There would be no home delivery for the more than 500 housebound vulnerable people who depend on it on a way for a bit of a a bit of something to expand in the enjoyment of their days and to kill that completely just seems completely wrong to me. And I'm just, I, I, I'm really astonished by that amendment, Mr. Mayor. But I felt I'd like to conclude, how many times when we've been sitting in the opposition benches, Mr. Mayor, were we told that we were the party that wasn't fit to govern, that our policies didn't work? Well, here we stand today, Mr. Mayor. It's the second year, it's the second budget, it adds up, it's facing and minimising the government's cuts, it's delivering a value for money, it's delivering the biggest underspend in years, that's because Greens deliver. Vote for the budget. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Fitchett.